Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and Christian's with me and we have a new, it's not corn tonight, sadly or gladly depending on your perspective. Tonight we have a new one and it's a Netflix original, is it not? It's more fuck we missed it. Fuck we missed it. So if you love fuck we missed it, stick around to hear our thoughts on a little movie called, called Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight from Poland? Poland. Uh, stick around. <laughs> Polish slasher film. Seriously? Yes, that's what they're marketing it as, is the first Polish slasher film. And also, the as far as I know, the first Polish horror movie I've seen, at least. I can't think of any, There's but... There's probably that... something I've seen, but nothing's coming to mind is like a Polish film. Yeah, um, this one's kind of a... You said it's getting varied reactions. Yep, seems like. Uh, for me, this is kind of one that's right down the middle. Yep. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, the budget was what the like a, about a potato. About a potato, and the effects look great. The, 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 the effects I'll start are with my I'll start with my uh, pros because there is a few of them. Um, I liked. I in fact, there's there's a lot of pros, and but I guess the biggest pro is definitely I really like the effects on this. Some of the gore and blood is just really cool and like really nice looking, mm -hmm. especially for such a lower budget film. Um, the story I'm kind of mixed about because while I did enjoy the story, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna, and I liked all of our actors. I found a couple of our actors rather cute and endearing. Um, the thing with me, though, the, what I have the biggest problem with this movie is, is it's a little long in the yep. tooth. I wish they'd cut it just a bit. Uh, the story is good, but it, it, they take these big chunks of where not much is happening, and I found myself getting bored and restless. I was really, I was enjoying this movie, but then, and then stop you stop and start. And then you it. had to take a phone call, so I paused it and looked at. It. I was like, oh. I thought we were at the end. There's still 50 minutes left of this. Yeah. Okay. When we're actually getting somewhere and doing things, it's very engaging and it's a lot of fun. It just feels a little bit, the pacing, I would have wrapped it up the pacing. Um, the story is weird. And the story, <laughs> why was she at that camp? Uh, there's a lot of why yeah, there's, parts of this Now story. that I'm sitting here and thinking about it, but, but again, let's not be too hard. It is a slasher movie. I mean, you know, We're that's here for not... the kills for a story second usually. Yeah, and the kills are great, but this it's about people that are at an internet addiction camp, which I didn't even know was a thing. It's a thing. I looked it up. They're things. It's a thing. Which is a genius setup, a setup for a slasher film. Yeah, because no cell phones. Because cell phones have become a problem in our some uh, sleepaway camps in mm -hmm. our Camp Crystal Lake situations. Mm -hmm. And so, what? how do you fix the problem? You take away everybody's cell phones. Of course, there's always that one asshole that manages to smuggle one in, which also plays a point. Uh, would you say that this story is a little too familiar, a little too beat to beat, or do you think it's more just it's, linking? To me, at the it feels more like a setup. This movie also feels very meta at points. It reminds me a little bit of was it Ruin Me? That slasher movie we did for shut that was a Shutter original a few years remember. back. I, I liked that one a little better. I, I'm with you. I think that I think it was called Ruin Me. It was a lot of the same stuff. Only that the difference was that instead of an internet like retreat, it was like a horror retreat where they were all horror fans. But it feels very similar to that one because this movie pays homages to a lot of classic slasher films and the tropes of horror which we've all heard hundreds of times granted this movie doesn't dig into it nearly as much as something like scream or you know drive it in like oh these are the laws of a horror movie if you well actually he did well do he, that. it does do that but it doesn't really dwell actually. on it there's actual stuff going on while the character's talking about that in the background mostly uh, yeah it, the, the, it's fine um I, and we're following this one girl and you and you get little chunks of her past um, that she's had somewhat of a traumatic past and you kind of know she's going to be our final girl, which again, you can usually spot them pretty early on in the movie, so I'm not going to dog on that. She was a fine final girl. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with her and I, but I think I was actually liking um, our kind of nerdy character. I was kind of liking, uh, that is the weird thing, I was kind <laughs> of liking everybody else in the movie. That's the interesting thing about this movie, because uh, there's one thing I do appreciate, it is unlike a lot of slasher movies, like a lot of the 90s slasher movies are really guilty of this and why I don't like a lot of them is they all had the mindset of let's make all of our victims annoying assholes that you want to see die whereas this movie actually gives every single one of them a little bit of development before they uh, die you all get a little bit of an idea of how they are as people and actually somewhat likable for a couple yeah they're likable and even one that might be a little annoying at first by the end he kind of grows on you yeah. did on me yeah, there's yeah, one definitely. in particularly yeah. um, and then there was just Jen there was just Jen <laughs> in this movie <laughs> she basically was the blondie girl that 
that light, you know, and I could, she couldn't, she asked the guy next to her, can, I don't understand this, can you do my pet? And then she sleeps with, with a guy, and then she makes friends with a gay guy, and yeah, yeah, well, yeah all, 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 Jen. All, all, all of them, all of them kind of start off as basic tropes that we, you're used to for a slasher movie, and then they all kind of get a little bit of development, some more than others, because some of them die before the others, but they all get a little bit of development. Besides our main character, really, we we learned a little bit about her past, but we don't learn really much else about her besides I, like the her like something that happened to her in her past. The way I kind of see her is she is still kind of coming out of her coma from her, her from all the traumatic bullshit she's been through. And you do whenever you have trauma, suffer trauma, you're kind of sleepwalking, and it can take months to years to never. Mm -hmm. And there's all and, and I think to, I think she was just kind of sleepwalking, and this is kind of her jolt back into reality. Possibly. You see little snippets of personality that she she's definitely I I like the fact they didn't make her strong woman just to be mm, strong woman. Yeah, yeah, you believe it. Yeah, you can believe that this girl would know her shit and, and seems to be a little bit more aware and maybe because of the tragedy. Mm. Um oh uh, the, the yeah, but again I I, I hate because there was a lot of things I liked about this movie, but the pacing it just was a little The main too problem long. is this movie's way too fucking we, long. And for we its own needed good. a few a little bit higher body count too. I Not think that was that, like, for the runtime Probably, but the kills worked fine. Just if Yo, the, movie the kills was were a good. Little bit, if the movie was just a little bit shorty, like I, like I said, you had to take a phone call in the middle of this film. Mm -hmm. I thought it was we were close to the end, and I was like, oh god, there's another fucking hour left to this. Yeah, and the and it doesn't answer some questions, and it leaves it very open ended. They, they do, and we also have, and I'm not gonna go too deep into it. We have space. That was Space a, goo? the explanation for why how, why our slashers we needed are, a little bit more. Our slashers is really fucking random and comes out of nowhere and is never mentioned again. But there's this that we do get their backstory and it's really fucking random. Although I can see some people appreciate it just because I kind of, that. of I kind of do appreciate how fucking bizarre it and just out of nowhere it is. But yeah, suddenly when we get their backstory, it's just like. Why? Yeah. And Why is this ha What? And then we have a kinky priest, which I appreciate. Yeah, kinky priest. With a ball gag. I'm not going to give you any more than that, but he does, uh, the king, the priest does have a ball gag, you know, an, a BDSM kind of ball gag. Nothing wrong with ball gags, people. But and a wood chipper. And a wood chipper. The wood chipper is fun because the movie teases you with the wood chipper about a good 20 minutes before we actually get to see the wood chipper in action. Mm -hmm. Um, overall, do you have any pr big pros or cons? Anything else? Like pretty much everything you said, I like the effects. The actors are all good. The story's fine enough, minus a few weird parts of the writing here and there. But the main problem with this movie is, oh, the score is really good. I like it the score. It reminds a lot. me a lot of Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah, there's some. There's a lot of theremin in this, which I appreciate. Yeah, um, I, it does give a nice little, a uh, little more uh, punch in it. But also, oh, I believe there's a direct psycho reference in there at a certain point with, a, with the score. At least I saw that as. Probably. Um, but other than that, not really. Like, the score is really good. The only really big problem with this movie and what holds it back for me is its runtime. It is very long in the tooth. Yeah, and... I, you almost could cut, like, a 30 minutes out of this movie and you wouldn't lose much. And the, the, the sad thing is, is when it, it does get good, like, the kills are really good, especially for how a minute the, the budget the is. The kills are great and the character building's great. Yeah. Just there's a lot of... Fluff Dead in, time. There's a lot of fluff in between those uh, these uh, these parts happening in the film, and it just kind of leads to being very almost Man. yeah, very padded out and very okay. I feel like this is a movie I probably would have really liked if it wasn't so long in the tooth. As exactly. is, I would give this a neutral. It's not you're not wasting your time by checking it out, but there are definitely better modern slasher films. Yeah, for me, I tell you guys, check it out. It's worth checking out, but don't be in a hurry. Go in with kind of low expectations. I didn't go in with either. I didn't go in with super low or super high, which I guess is always the way to go into, but I've broken that rule more than once. Mm -hmm. and, um, but this one, I didn't really go in with anything. i um, hopeful, but nothing too big. Um, it's not bad. I, I, say, I still say yeah, check it. Yeah, far from this movie being bad. I still say check it out, but don't be in a particularly hurry. And, and there's some people, I think, and they're, like I said, I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard some people who really dig, dug it, and there's other people who hated it worse I than believe, we did. I believe Monty G really liked this film. I remember he told us on Horror Hangouts that we should probably check this 
one out. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not and sorry. And I can totally see why. And I'm not sorry we did. I would say just check it out, but don't be expecting much. I, for me, like, it, it's it's the it's the runtime. It kills it. It kills a lot of it. I think I would be really raving about this movie if we could have just cut out a lot of stuff the, in it. But it's still a, a good movie. It's perfectly fine. Check it out, but check it out after you've checked out other things. If you have other things you're anticipating more, save this for when you don't have much else in your, your mm -hmm. you know, yeah, there, save it like a squirrel. Yeah, there are definitely better modern slasher movies, but there's also a lot of worse modern yeah, slasher movies Yeah, this is not one you're going to waste your so. time on. I give it a B minus. Check it out, but don't be in a hurry. Perfect, That's what I would say. A perfect middle of the road neutral for me. And yeah, not, but not, not just keeping you away from it all, but I also wouldn't say you need to rush and see this before the end of the year or anything. Exactly. Uh, but you always know this is probably a short video, and you guys know when it's a short video for us, and we're kind of mad to it, that kind the, the runtime always tells you something about our vi Our videos give you that much in the runtime, and I feel like this isn't a particularly long video, because there's just really not that much to say. Don't hate it. Don't love it. I wish it would have cut it down. I think I, this one could have been one I would raved about. But the performance, but in the plus column, the performances are good, and I really dug the gore. So, check it out when you guys got the chance, but don't break your neck to see it. And with all that, do we have anything else to say? Um, nothing I can think of, no. Okay, so with all that out of the way, booze and ghouls, as always, we hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, and you're new around here, please hit that subscriber button if you do enjoy this, because we do appreciate every subscriber we get. And with all you oldies but goodies, we love all you guys. And with all that out of the way, we'll be back. Are we bringing, we're not doing another corn yet, are probably we? Probably not, yeah, maybe, but probably you not. You guys get a reprieve from a corn for another day or two, but we will, we do have other video, we do have other nuts in our squirrel tree. There's still plenty of <laughs> fuck we missed it to come. Yeah, there's there's still plenty of fuck we missed it to come, and we are looking forward to Freaky as soon as that comes on VOD. We're going to definitely be jumping on that one. But yeah, there's plenty of corn and fuck we missed it stuff to come around, so check us out when we go. We upload a new video, because we, we always appreciate it, you guys. And with all that out of the way, we wish you a good day, a good evening, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye, guys.